So let's see how to use this inflate balloon title template. So once you download this template, you should get this zip file and just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these folders inside it. Now this is the After Effects folder. If you just open up that, you will find the actual template over here. Now you can just double click on that to open or if you want, you can import it into your existing project. I'm just going to double click on that and it will be open up inside of After Effects. Now as you can see, by default, the full HD resolution will be open up. Now if you just come over here to this project bin, you will find three different folders. So first one is the edit. Here you can change the color, the media. If you want to add any media, you can do this from here and you can also change the text. And in the final, you will find two different compositions. Uh, one is 4K and another one is Full HD. So Full HD one is open by default, but if you want to use the 4K, just double click on that. And then the assets, you can ignore the asset one. Now let's see how to change the title, colors, etc. For that, just open up the edit folder and in the text, just double click on this text goes here. As you can see, now over here, just type your text, anything you want. So once you're done, just go back to the final. As you can see, it has been updated. So you can type whatever text you want and it will be adjusted. Now in here, as you can see, there is a limitation of 20 characters. Now to change the color and edit some adjustments, just open up this color composition over here, or you can just double click on over here. Now in here, you can select this color control and from this effects control, you can edit these settings. So at first you can control the global position, scale and rotation, and then you can change the text and the background settings. So you can change the text color from here and in the background you can make it a uh, flat so once you click on the flat you can change the background color over here or if you want to add your footage just click on this footage now you can add your media to add your media just double click on this footage goes here folder and you can just add your media so for demo i have imported in media i'm just going to drag and drop in the timeline if you just close and as you can see it will be added over here so i'm going to switch back to transparency and then you will find this drop shadow so by default it's on, but you can turn off, change color and edit some settings over here. The text alignment, you can make it middle or left. So let's go over here and type some few text at the bottom. Now as you can see, it's middle. Now in the text alignment, just make this one left and it will be left over here. And then you will find this tracking and line spacing. So you can turn off the graphical GUI over here. And if you want to adjust the text positions, you can just select this and move this graphical GUI to make it closer and give some unique look. So you can customize over here. And then you can control the tracking over here as well as the line spacing. And in the animation, you can delay the animation by frames. You can make this one ramp down and you can also control the random seat. If you just make this one random, you can control the random seat over here. So that's basically it, how to use this template. Now the best workflow is that to render these uh, titles in transparency background and then you can import it into your editing software for better use. That's how I have created my demo. To render this with alpha channel, let me show you how to do that. So for that, just come back to your final composition and this one you have rendered and make sure the background is transparent. Uh, you can click it over here to check. And now just go to composition and over here, you can just click on this add to render queue. Over here in the lossless, select the quick time and in the channel, select RGB plus alpha. So that is important. Click OK. Now you can save it anywhere you want and hit render and it will preserve the transparency. So that's basically it. I hope this video helped.